Montana's statewide ban on TikTok slated to take effect on January 1st. It's now been uh, blocked by a federal judge. The ban would have been the first in the nation as states and the federal government grapple with surveillance and privacy concerns on the platform, of course, owned by China-based parent company ByteDance. For a look at what is next in this battle, I want to bring in New York Times business reporter uh, Safna Nashwari. Good morning to you. Good morning. So where is this all going, do you think? And by the way, we always say that this is a Chinese-owned company. And yet, a majority of the company technically is owned by American investors, or not really? Uh, that's kind of what the company says, says. But a lot of, I think, what people are looking at is where the company is founded and, right. and where its engineers are. No, but are. in terms of economically, there's a lot of American investors in this company. KKR is involved. Yeah, General Atlantic's I think involved. That's, that's very fair to say. Uh, so, where do you think this case goes at this point? So the Montana Attorney General says that he's going to stick with this case and right. they want to see where it plays out. But this is the, the really big blow in it, right? This ban was supposed to go into effect January 1st and now it's, it's not. It's, right. it's, um, and a lot of what the judge said, I mean, really is great in TikTok's favor. I mean, he said that this steps on First Amendment rights of users. Um, it's stepping into foreign affairs in a place where a state shouldn't have power. Um, and all of that, you know, makes it seem very unlikely that TikTok is going to get banned in the state or even federally. Explain this. There has been obviously a lot of pushback against X, Elon Musk's mm -hmm. uh, form, formerly Twitter, um, advertisers leaving that platform uh, around anti-Semitism and the like. And I know there's, you know, he's apologized for it, but there's still a lot of debate about what's happening on that platform. There's a lot of debate happening about what's happening on the platform of TikTok, but you have not heard about advertisers necessarily stepping away. What's happening behind the scenes? Yeah, we haven't seen the same advertiser exodus, and I do think that part of it comes from what you saw in X's case, uh, more from comments from Elon and from company leadership. Um, what you're seeing actually happen at TikTok is a little bit the opposite. Um, you've seen Shochu, the CEO of TikTok, privately taking meetings with prominent Jewish groups and with creators. The executives are meeting with Jewish celebrities and creators as well to hear their concerns, to make them feel listened to, and to say, you know, we're doing everything we can. This, this platform's operating kind of out of our control. Um, Hold on. TikTok is saying this, that the platform's operating out of their control? I don't, I don't want to misspeak. I mean, they're right. saying that the platform is a mirror of the users. So basically, um, if Elon was quieter about it, he might not get as much black either. I mean, he's doing the same thing. He's met potentially, with Jewish leaders. I mean, you don't have, like, Disney or these big advertisers saying, you know, we're, we're boycotting TikTok. They're really trying to get more of an understanding right. of what's happening there, I think. By the way, to show to you, I don't, I don't, I, maybe I need to follow him, but does he have a, a big uh, following himself, meaning the CEO, the CEO of TikTok? He developed actually a big following after the March congressional hearings, okay. um, including. But does he know, go on and make uh, provocative comments about anything or no? No. Right. He is really okay. the kind of the opposite, I would say, of that. He is, you know, went to HBS, he's right. Singaporean, he's um, quite unflappable, I think. Uh, back to where we started, this case. Which was seen as a barometer potentially for other states and also for federal for f more federal rules. Is it, do you think that there's no chance as a result that I mean I assume if you're TikTok this is a great decision for you and you think that this this company's not getting regulated. I think that this mechanism is pretty unlikely to work okay. based on what we saw. Is there some other mechanism that people are talking about? Well, there kind of is. So okay. there's one. There's a, a bill that a few folks introduced. Uh, I think earlier this year, where you could potentially regulate uh, through the president, um, a, say, a Chinese-owned social media company. Then we still have this lingering decision from Biden and uh, the Biden administration and CFIUS, you know, okay. yep. the group we all know about. And they're, they still have yet to bless TikTok's operating plan in okay. the U.S. So it's not a surefire thing for TikTok, but I think this sort of cudgel of the right. your, your ban January 1st, that is going to be hard to stand up.